In the meantime, the House of Representatives Committee on Navy has expressed its dissatisfaction over the dismissal of Seaman Abbas and refusal to provide information on alleged acquisition of foreign platform without proper disclosure and due process. Chairman of the Committee, Honorable Yusuf Gakti, stated this uh, while addressing journalists after a closed-door session with the Chief of Naval Staff, Vice Admiral Emmanuel Gala, and other officers at the Naval Headquarters in Abuja on Monday. Honorable Gagdi lamented that the committee wrote to the Navy to provide some needed information on Seaman Abbas and also on relevant documents to guide the committee on its oversight function ahead of its visit, which the Navy refused to act on. Earlier, the Chief of Naval Staff, Vice Admiral Emmanuel Gala, stated that the Nigerian Navy has the most difficult operations of all the Nigerian armed forces. Money appropriated to Navy is being spent. How intervention by the good president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria is being judiciously used by the Navy, how the junior officers and the senior officers are being treated by the senior officers of the Navy, including the famous case of Seaman Haruna, how he was suddenly dismissed. It is our responsibility on behalf of the Nigerian people to ask Navy question on these pertinent issues. We have asked them. We are generally not comfortable. We have said that we will go to all naval commands and bases to for, perform a deep rooted uh, oversight function to know how resources are being used and how disciplinary matters is being handled by the Nigerian Navy. So by the special grace of God, it's not a new thing, it's doing our job. And uh, I have to tell you without any fear of contradiction, the committee is not satisfied. On Seaman Abbas issue, on non-response to letters written by this committee demanding for documents in order to guide us in our oversight function, and etc., etc. So in uh, trying to carry out this responsibility, we are faced with a lot of challenges, a lot of challenges and sometimes very difficult for us to convince the public on uh, uh, the extent of the uh, requirement, what we need. And some of these challenges uh, include, of course, inadequate resources to be able to perform these roles. Uh, problems of uh, maintenance issues, considering that Nigeria is not very, very good when it comes to industrial capacity. You see that most of our maintenance requirements and our procurement requirements are foreign-based, and looking at the current uh, issue with uh, the economy, that becomes a very, very, very serious uh, ta uh, challenge for us. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.